Hey everybody, Attack Into Cans here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker in the last episode. Heart Link? Link, do you need to take a shit? You look like you need to take a shit, Link. In the last episode, we released Tingle from this jail cell, and one of you guys told me that the reason Tingle was in here was because he molested 20 children and then murdered all of them. Oops! Anyways, if you push this box out of the way, we can find a secret passage! Oh my god, look at Link's butt! It is so... scandalous! No, I'm just kidding. But, well, maybe not. Link's butt is pretty scandalous. Why am I talking about Link's butt? I'm clearly on bath salts or something like that. But if we navigate these passages, we'll eventually come to a passage that has a secret little opening where we can get an awesome item. Also, if you see wood, like right there, did you see the wood on the side? Do not walk onto those, because if you do, there is mice there, and they'll pull like a little jingly bell or something, and you'll fall, and it'll be bad news bears. And I just copied Super Genius. Sorry, Super Genius. Love you. OTP. Right here, girl. I'll show you what happens if you go on those on the way out. But we found the treasure chest. I hope it's full of Vagisil. My vagina's getting kind of itchy, not gonna lie. What do these stones say? Date unknown. At last, I have succeeded in stealing the Picto Box I have desired for so long. Succeeded, yes, but sadly, due to a slight mistake on my part, I was also caught. I have been imprisoned, but I do not give in easily. I refuse to give this wondrous box to my captors. I have decided to hide it here in my depths of my cell and then make my escape by tunneling out. Yes, that is my plan. Sounds like an awesome plan. What does this one say? Of course, if I ever successfully escape from the prison, I shall one day return to recover the Picto Box. I will write the controls for it if I, in case I forget them. That's how you control it. That's how you save pictures. I just wish I could get out of here so I could start making pictographs. Wow, that is one dedicated photographer. He must have been a hipster. Because hipsters are usually dedicated photographers or photographers or whatever. It looks like he died. All, all 20 of him. How many skulls? Why is there so many skulls? I don't even know. But I'm guessing this is the pictograph. No, I'm just kidding. It's your mom's bra. Just kidding. It's the pictograph. Thanks, dude. Thanks. Okay, so this lets us take pictures. But sadly, they're in black and white. Well, they're in black and white. No, we won't save that. But let's go ahead and get out of here. Look at some shrooms. Those can go along with the bath salts I was taking. Just kidding. Don't do drugs, kids. Make good life choices and stuff. Anyways, now to get out of here, I am going to take this wooden platform. And there's a little mice. Mouse. And that's... <laughs> mice is a plural, and there's only one. That reminds me, back... And I think it was the second half of my junior year of high school. I was determined to collect as many pet mice from the pipe from the pet store as they possibly could. So I got like seven pet mice. And then after about one month, I had to get rid of them because they started smelling so bad. Even though I cleaned their cage out every couple days, they smelled so bad. So I had to get rid of them. And I put them in my garage. And then my little sister played with them and forgot to put the lid back on the cage. And then my cat ate them. Awkward. Anyways, let's talk to this kid real fast again. You pesky little brat. Nobody understands how I feel. Do you hear me? Nobody! Not you! Not nobody! Hashtag cutting for Bieber! Wait, are you trying to tell me that you do understand how I feel? Completely! Oh really? Then how about a little test to see if you really do? I want you to show me a picture of the first perfectly round pale thing you can think of. <gasps> Are you asking Link to show you a picture of his butt? Well, I think Link will do it. He's pretty self-confident about his butt. How would you take a picture of your butt in the first place? That'd be the most awkward thing ever. Trying to awkwardly take a self-pic in the mirror of your butt. Anyways, if you show me something that's exactly the same as my favorite thing, then you can win. And I'll acknowledge that you understand the inner feelings of my heart and mind. Hashtag cutting for Bieber. It's quite a simple little riddle, isn't it? Quickly, now bring it to me. 
Um, the thing he actually wants a picture of is a picture of a full moon, but it won't work unless it's a colorful photo. And right now our camera is only black and white. So how do we make our camera not black and white, you may ask? Well, this building has a picture box on the outside of it, so this would be a good first place to look if I do say so myself. All right, how far are we into this video? About 78 minutes. I'm just kidding. I have no idea how far I ever got to start my timer. Fuck. Why, young sir, I must say you seem to be in possession of a very nice picture box there. Are you a lover of pictographs as well? There can be no villains amongst the ranks of picto box lovers. Take your time, look around. I implore you. Heart. Hmm, cool. He has a really epic beard. Are these all of your gels and hair conditioners to take care of your beard? I really hope so, because that would be the best thing ever. Anyway, so let's go upstairs and take a look around, shall we? And break all of his pots. <laughs> oh, look, I recognize most of these things. Chews. It's my home island, outside island. There's a pirate ship. <laughs> Santa Claus? Aren't these some finely snapped pictographs, you must admit? Oh, hi there. But come now, you needn't be so surprised, young sir. It is a hobby of mine to sneak up behind people when they least expect it. Cool. Pedophile, pedophile, pedophile. By the way, the pictographs you see decorating these fine walls have all been taken by none other than myself. They are my pride and joy, you see. In my younger days, I was tirelessly sailing far and wide across the great sea, snapping pictographs wherever I went. Have a look at them, young sir. All right, I kind of want to know the backstory behind Outside Island, because, you know, I lived there and everything. This is a pictograph of a place I once visited. Isn't it a finely snapped shot? I took it in my younger days. It is Outside Island. It is the most delightful of fishing villages, innocent and rich with nature's bounty. It was there I met a beautiful young lass. Wait, you met a beautiful young lass? One sec, although I suppose she is probably not as young as she used to be these days. The only old lady there was grandma. And I don't have a daddy. Are you my grandpa? Grandpa! 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 I've always wanted a grandpa. Grandpa, is that a dildo in your hand or are you just happy to see me? Oh, it's Grandpa. What happened to Link's parents? I don't know. Maybe Tingle's Link's parents? No, I don't even know. Not even gonna start with that philosophy. Now, if we leave and re-enter, he'll actually give us some work we can do. So, let's leave and then re-enter and offer a business proposition, shall we? Okay, let's see what he has to say. You see, young sir, I have been studying picture boxes since I was but a lad. My lifelong dream of creating a box with incredible photography capabilities is at last long something, something, fruit to something, something. Young sir, I hesitate to ask, but could you perchance become my research assistant? Sure, Grandpa. Oh, oh really, really and truly? My heart leaps at enthusiasm, but I feel I must tell you. The path an assistant must follow is not a simple one. I demand that whoever takes on the role of my assistant be an individual who can take whatever I command and promptly complete it without hesitation. It will be quite a challenge, I assure you. Are you sure you still want to do this? Absolutely, Grandpa. <laughs> you must share my love of the pictograph. What is your name, young sir? Link. Is it? Oh, very well then. I shall issue three commands to you. On the dawn of the day you complete all three tasks, you shall be my number one assistant, Link. Now then, for my first command. A love letter. Something I've never actually gotten. Do you know what this is, young sir? It is a collection of words of love, long unspoken and put into written form. Somewhere is in, somewhere in this town there is some I'm old and can read words apparently. There is one who, despite constant rejection, never learns the core lesson of requited passion and continues to write letters of doom, 
love. I am certain the object of this sadly one-sided affection is quite a quandary over the matter. I am of the mind that I must have a word with the unwanted suitor. However, I must have physical evidence, and thus, your first task is to snap a pictograph of this individual in the act of sending the unwanted letter. Okay, I can do that. And so much grandpa voice. I can't even, I can't handle this. I feel like I'm doing too much voice acting. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I guess that's a good thing. What do you guys like? Do you guys like voice acting? Or do you like me randomly skipping through text a lot? I don't even know. But here is the first guy we are taking a pictograph of. None other than Mario himself. But we have to take a picture of him putting a letter into the picta box. Which is all the way down here. So we have to wait for him to walk all the way down here. And then we take a picture of him. I'm not going to make you guys wait this super long period of time. So I'll cut to when he gets down here. Mario's getting close. Come on, Mario. It's me, Mario, and I'm sending the letter to Princess Peach, but she doesn't love me. No matter how many times I save her from Bowser, she keeps going back to that fuckhead. How come all of the girls like the Jewish bags? No matter how many times I say- Wait, he's looking at me. Apparently we're too close. Let's get our distance. There we go. We have to keep, be pretty distant from him or else he won't do it. Put that love letter in there, dude. Let's capture this. Try to take two pictures. There we go. Hopefully that's enough. All right, Grandpa, I got your pictograph. Blah, 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 but I need to press the button. Okay, here we go. Let's give him the pictograph. Let's give him this one because pff, he's putting the letter in there. That's not right! Fuck you, Grandpa! Okay, let's get it right this time. Let's get it right this time. Is that good? That better be good. Okay, Grandpa, how is this picture? Oh, now this is the finally snapped pictograph indeed, hmm now. They say love is blind, but what could he be thinking, yelling all these letters? I should not ridicule him though, for the reminds- For it reminds me of myself back in the innocence of my youth. Memories of those bittersweet young summer days for rushing back to me. But I digress, very good, young sir. I must congratulate you on passing your first test. I should probably take this pictograph. All right, what's my next test? Very well, now is my second command. You must search for this town's most timid and cowardly resident. I intend to flog his spirit so as to lend him some backbone. This individual flinches and jumps at every even the slightest of surprises. I need you to capture the instant of pure fear in this individual's face in the pictograph. I guess I can do that too. This guy has really weird requests. Like seriously, I remember the first time I played this game. I did not know about the fact that you could look up how to play games on game facts, so I could never figure out how to do any of this stuff. And it took me hours and hours and hours to finally figure out how to do it. How did I figure out how to do it? I think a friend told me. But seriously, this was not even cool back in the olden days when game facts wasn't a thing. Anyways, this is the guy that gets scared. If you run into anything, he gets super scared and clenches his butt cheeks together. Clench those cheeks, mmm, girl, mmm. <laughs> oh gosh, so we wanna run into something and then quickly take a picture of him. Well, that might be too close. Let's try again. Okay, let's try again. And speaking of being scared, today's common question of the day, which I don't normally do, but today's common question of the day is, what are you afraid of? Now for me, I don't really th think I'm afraid of anything. I think my biggest failure, um, fear is failure. I'm really afraid to mess things up, which is why I try to perfect everything I do because I'm afraid of failing. Remember when I was a kid though, I was afraid my mom wouldn't come home from work. Let's just go ahead and give him this picture. But when I was a kid, um, like kindergarten or so, I was afraid that my mom wouldn't come home from work. And I remember before I went to bed, I would keep looking at my window every like five seconds, seeing if my mom was home because I was afraid she wouldn't make it home safely. I was a cute little kid, I guess. Anyways, what is our third command? Very good. Next is, at long last, my final command. Open your heart and mind and listen to what I say. 
Somewhere in town is a couple, a man and a woman whose hearts are secretly filled with thoughts of the other, and yet for reasons unknown the two have never spoken. Even when they happen by chance to pass each other in the road, they each steal a brief fur- fur- furtive? What's a furtive? Furtive glance at the other, but they suppress the longing in their hearts. I cannot let this tragedy go on any longer. For the sake of the town and my own desire to help these two poor souls, I shall become Cupid, Archer of Love. So he wants us to take a picture of a couple looking at each other for a couple seconds. Like seriously, how would you find this stuff? Especially because for this instance to occur, you have to wait for about two minutes. So this is the girl. And then the guy is a guy who walks around the town and he starts really far away. It's yeah. this guy way over here. So we have to wait for him to walk all the way down here. Should I do the same thing again? Uh, I'm not gonna do that again. But all the way over here, keep going. Yep, just keep going. Over here, up here, and around and look at the girl. So I have to wait for him to do all of that. So I'll cut to when that happens. Oh, he's here, he's here. Okay, you wanna be super careful because this moment does not last long at all. So very shortly, they will look at each other, make sure to take a picture, that's full body. This is the best place to stand, and if again, if you're too close, he'll walk past her without looking at her because you're too close to him. So make sure to keep your distance. Okay, let's give him this third pictograph and be done with this little challenge. Okay, so let's go ahead and give him this picture. Oh, uh, this is the finally snapped pictograph indeed. I had no idea these two would get along so splendidly. You can see the love there, hidden but thriving. Even I, who haven't lived in this town for so many years, did not realize in the slightest the extent of their passion. You have done well, Link. How is their passion extent? They looked at each other for like a second. I do that every time I walk past somebody. Like honestly, you look at people when you walk past them sometimes. I shall promptly take this pictograph from you and use it most effectively. Oh god, he's gonna masturbate with it, isn't he? Damn it, Grandpa. Well then, my young sir, you have completed all the tasks I set you to. My doubts about you have all been cleared up. I shall hereby be proud to call you my assistant, Link. Didn't reward you, father, for your fine efforts. I offer you this. The elderly lady next door tells me it has value of sorts. Okay, what are we gonna get? You gave me a fucking joy pendant after all of that! Ah! You bitch! You're a bitch!